United States President Joe Biden has condemned the assassination attempt on his predecessor Donald Trump in a primetime address from the White House, telling Americans that U.S. politics must never be a killed field. Trump, the presumptive Republican nominee for president, was wounded in the ear after a gunman opened fire at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Uh, bigger pardon, I think that should be Butler. Uh, one bystander was killed and two more were critically injured in the attack. The 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks shot seven bullets at uh, Donald Trump during his Pennsylvania rally. This incident took place, of course, in Pennsylvania around 6.10 p.m. U.S. Standard Time. Since the incident, over 30 hours have lapsed. And now FBI shared the latest probe details, terming it an act of domestic terrorism. Let's listen into what Joe Biden said after this incident. My fellow Americans, I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. And to remember, while we may disagree, we are not enemies. We're neighbors, we're friends, co-workers, citizens, and most importantly, we are fellow Americans. We must stand together. Come see, man. Okay. We can see the guy there. I, th I think they hit him because the guy is he looks dead. And let's show you, of course, the latest revelations that have emerged so far into the FBI's probe. Remember, of course, uh, uh, almost 48 hours now have lapsed uh, since that incident took place. Revelation number one so far coming out to the investigation. The agency, of course, is labeling this as an act of domestic terrorism. Revelation number two, uh, they are saying that uh, the gunman, uh, Matthew Crooks, of course, uh, is a 20-year-old nursing home aide. He appears to have acted alone. This is, of course, the individual uh, pictured here. He uh, re uh, reportedly was a lone wolf, according to the FBI's revelations into their investigation so far. Also uh, emerging uh, so far is uh, details that before being shot by snipers, Crooks had fired eight rounds of bullets at Trump. So eight rounds were fired. Of course, one bullet grazed uh, Donald Trump's ear uh, and the others, of course, uh, did uh, unfortunately kill a bystander and injure another. Revelation number four emerging is that counter-terrorism and criminal investigation agencies so far are working to determine the motive of the attack, but it's not yet clear. So the motive of the incident, the reason of the attack is still unclear. The shooter may be deceased, but the investigation is very much ongoing. This is what also the FBI has revealed. So remember, of course, the shooter is dead. He has been neutralized, but the investigation, of course, continues into his antecedents. Also, uh, the FBI said uh, they are limited in what we say at this point because the main suspect is dead. He, of course, cannot be interrogated himself because he was shot after he uh, tried to uh, shoot Donald Trump dead. Also, uh, we do know that uh, what we witnessed yesterday was nothing short of an attack on democracy and our democratic process. This is uh, the statement that has come in from Christopher Ray, He's the director of FBI. This is the big statement he has made. Also, if we talk about the weapon used for this shooting, uh, we have been told that it was an AR-style rifle chambered in 5.56 mm, a common caliber for such weapons. And uh, the gun had been uh, legally purchased, uh, so it was a legal purchase uh, of this weapon. The FBI believes that Crook's father bought this rifle. He was the one who actually purchased the rifle, which was used in this attack. Also, a suspicious device was recovered from the vehicle of the suspect, an FBI official has revealed. So uh, clearly, of course, a suspicious device. It could be, of course, a bomb, uh, an attempted uh, bomb, which was uh, in the car of the suspect that was recovered after the shooting. Also, Crook's social media and other properties have been scoured to understand the motive of the attack. His uh, antecedents are uh, currently being investigated by the premier investigative agency in the United States of America. The FBI yet, is yet to identify an ideology linked to the suspect Crook's or indication of mental health issues. Those are not known so far. Also, as per state voter records, Crook's was a registered Republican uh, that is also an interesting development, although we do know that he had donated uh, in the past uh, $15 to a Democratic Political Action Committee when he was 17. So we don't quite know what his current political leanings were. At the time of the shooting, he was employed as a dietary aide at a nursing home. That was his uh, primary occupation at the time. We also have been told that uh, uh, as per law enforcement, uh, Crook's 
traveled for about an hour from his home in Pittsburgh, suburb of Vithal Park, to the very site where this shooting took place. He had to travel for about an hour to get to the location of Donald Trump's political rally. After reaching close to Trump's rally venue, he climbed to the roof of a building. And that's where, of course, he sat and uh, carried out this shooting. According to local media, Crooks graduated in 2022 from the Bethel Park High School. Crooks' uh, schoolmates, in fact, also came out and revealed that he was bullied by other students and he also seemed to be loner. Those are also telltale signs uh, that possibly are going to be looked at of his personality by the investigative agencies. These are, of course, uh, the details uh, so far that have uh, emerged uh, on the FBI's uh, investigation. Uh, uh, those, of course, are uh, uh, you know details that we do know uh, in public so far. Uh, of course, the investigation is ongoing.